Hey there, today I'm going to talk to you about bugs. Now, bugs have a few meanings to them. They could be those NSA spy drones that everyone's afraid of. They could be those little pests that don't get along. Which, just like the NSA spy drones, I guess. And then there's computer glitches, which are also called bugs. Today I'm going to get into two of those, both the computer glitch and those little pests, not the NSA. Let's start with some history. Back in the 1940s, computers were huge. <clears throat> they would probably fit one in this room if you were lucky. And it would have to be constantly checked up on. Back then, they didn't have any software at all. They're all hardware and electronics based. They collected, they used pro, they used little tapes, if you know what those are. Ask your grandparents. They're little cassette things that you put in music or stuff playing. Anyways, they used those to run programs and they were very limited on their programs at that. But due to how big and all the stuff that was running in it at once, they often ran into a lot of problems. These very, one of these instances is very interesting. The origin of the computer term bug, or at least the way it was popularized. You see, an old English slash Welsh term is bug, I think you would pronounce it, B-W-G which is essentially an error or a problem and yeah, difficulty. <laughs> and one time on this very old computer called the Harvard Mark II, which is essentially a giant calculator, can add, multiply, some logs and stuff like that, if you know what those are, probably do. Anyways, the computer would keep miscalculating, so the operators that ran it decided to open the hood. Remember, they didn't have software or anything to help run it. All hardware based. <clears throat> Anyways, they discovered that a moth got caught in the computer. So they took it out and they pinned it to the report and said, first actual bug found. <laughs> and they also coined the term debug. This, all, this is all very interesting. Just goes to show how terms can be created and whatnot. There are many other stories of computers and other types of things, but this really shows how things have changed over the years. After all, this was less than a hundred years ago, and things are just gonna keep getting better and better. I mean, our computer, we have computers that fit in our pockets, which many of you have probably used while I was giving this speech. Anyways, thank you all for listening.